Hello, my friends. Thanks for coming. My definition of spirituality is understanding that everything is energy. Everything we see, everything we touch, everything we do, it's all energy. And so changing the energy around us is something that I think about a lot. Now, I had a lesson in this yesterday, big time. Okay, so we have one cat that's diabetic. And I went to the vet to get the food. He's on a very special food that I had gotten from this vet before. And when I went in to get it, um, they said that he needed a full exam before they would give me this prescription food again. And this triggered rejection for me, big time. So I didn't have a very good night last night because my mind was just spinning with, and, and, and if rejection gets triggered in me, I actually get a huge chemical reaction to it. I wasn't angry, but I was really hurt because I have four fur children <laughs> and their welfare is absolutely paramount to me. It's very important. And also I was blindsided by this. So I didn't, I didn't react well. Now I've done the job of the person on the other side of the, de the desk. I've managed a veterinary office. So when people come in and have moments, you know, here was this woman who'd always been very friendly and then she was very cold to me and it, it hurt. It really did, but I was triggered. Okay. So it took me all night to change the energy. And we're going to talk about how I did that, you know, uh, in a few moments. The other thing yesterday is I'm clearing a lot of the stuff that we've stored in the barn, because if I can repurpose it and recycle it, some I'm actually taking to a vintage clothing store because, well, never mind. I think somebody might get a kick out of these hats. <laughs> anyway, we've been, really been going through the house trying to sort out the things that we've accumulated um, and just sort of clear the energy to make room for other energy. And I know that there's energy attached to all that stuff. Some of it was from my grandmother's um, and it was just not very great blankets, you know? that I didn't even feel comfortable donating. So anyway, so that was a shift in energy too. And so I have a friend in Virginia, a young friend who has had some very bad experiences with her oldest sister. And I've had a lot of very painful experiences uh, of rejection and, um, misunderstanding and I take full responsibility for that with my older sister right but we've been pretending to get along and pretending to get along in a family zoom every other week has softened the energy it's not so spiky anymore I can't say that I really want to hang out and spend time with her but I really care about her so that's changed for me. So I'm going to pause the video for just a minute and I'm going to try and share a screen because I have done um, a message on forgiveness, at least in a few of these videos, but there's something else I want to share with you. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back in my little form up on top. This is a series of questions that's very good to work with when you're triggered or when you can't unravel a certain situation. And I just call them the questions. And where was I selfish? So where I was selfish yesterday when I wanted the cat food at the vet was 
I wanted it to be easy. I wanted it now. You know, it was late Friday. I just wanted to get her done. So that's also what I wanted out of this situation is for it to be easy. The lie that I told myself <laughs> was that, you know, I, you know, it's all about me. I was more important than they were. And what was the story I tell myself is that they should have probably just said, okay, we'll give it to you this one time, but you really need to make a, um, an appointment. So the truth was, this is their protocol. They couldn't give me a prescription diet without seeing the cat again. So it's pretty obvious where I was self-seeking. I wanted what I wanted. And what was I afraid of? Where was I fearful? That was with the rejection that I would lose access to the vet that I had been with for a very long time with my other animals. You know, at first I thought, okay, I'm going to get rid of the whiteboard. Um, at first I thought, well, I'm going to take my ball and go play somewhere else, right? <laughs> uh, you know, switch vets with all four animals. You know, that's a bizarre you know, conclusion to make out of just being the feeling of being rejected. But this morning I woke up with, okay, I'll play by the rules. Now this cat is difficult to handle. He weighs 20 pounds, you know, we're older. It's, it's not an easy thing to do to take him to the vet, but if that's what is required. So the real bottom line, however, is I Oh, Molly, the woman behind the desk, an apology, because I was very triggered and she didn't deserve that. So that's how I'm going to change the energy around all this. So I hope this helps you think about ways and times that you need to change the energy of a certain situation. And I hope the questions help you because if you really work with them, even if you really write out the answers, you'll be empowered. Like, what can I do about that? It's not out of your control to change the energy in a situation. So thanks for listening. And until I see you again, uh, let's see, please be well and please be blessed. Thanks for coming. Please like, share, subscribe, all those good things. All right. Take care, my friends.